Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the material science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So I also took my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in the pharmaceutical chemistry program. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, check out the links in the description below. So now I'm going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question number one asks, what is hybridization? This is a good question. So let me write out the definition of hybridization plus um, a common example. So hybridization is basically when you combine two molecular orbitals to produce a new hybrid orbital. So first, let me give an example. of just normal methane. If you were to write out this molecule, you have just a carbon, and attached to it are four hydrogens that are all equivalent. If we didn't have hybridization, then its molecular orbital diagram would look like the following. You would have your electrons there. And then for the four hydrogens, they would all be at different energy levels. But we know that this isn't true because all of the hydrogens should be equivalent in energy since they are all the same. So this is when hybridization comes in. And your new molecular orbital diagram will look like the following. This 1s would still be the same, but now we have two sp3. And here you can see all the electrons are at the same energy level. Okay, so let me write out why this is. So since we know that the four bonds in CH4 must be equivalent, so therefore we have to promote the 2s orbital, so make it a higher energy.
and we have to denote the P3 orbitals. So make them have a lower energy. So basically so that they meet up in the middle. And this is to form four new hybrid orbitals. called sp3. sp3 hybridization. Making them all equal in energy. So if we were to write out that same CH4 molecule, you'd have the carbon in the middle. Let me write it smaller. So you have the carbon in the middle with its four electrons. These are its four valence electrons. And then around it are all of the hydrogens each with their valence electrons as well. And then I'm just going to circle just to show how they all share. Kind of look like this. So when you have an overlap that looks like it's a head-on overlap, these are called sigma bonds. And since the carbon has four uh, bonding groups, so bonding groups can either be a bond to another atom or it can be a lone pair. So in this case, it has four bonding groups, each to four hydrogens. So therefore, we would say that this carbon is sp3 hybridized. So let's see what our junior tutor said. Hybridization or orbital hybridization is the process of combining two molecular orbitals to produce a new hybrid orbital with different shape, energy, etc. The purpose of hybridization is to optimize the bonding with other atoms. Yep, pretty much this solution is correct. I'll also type out my example.
Okay, so I said that this solution is correct. For example, in CH4, there are four bonds that must be equivalent to each other. So by promoting the 2s orbital and denoting the 2p orbitals, this forms four new hybrid orbitals, orbitals called sp3 hybridization, where all the electrons are equal in energy. Thank <laughs> you.